this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and in this video we're going to detail the new for 2010 First Gear Kilimanjaro Adventure Touring Destination Jacket. I'm joined here on my left once again by Mark Kinkart, Product Specialist for First Gear. Mark, why don't we jump right in? Why don't you talk about um, some of the application and uh, temperature, or temperature range, but really seasonality that would be associated with this jacket? Well, this is definitely a battle-proven uh, jacket. It's been in the okay. collection for a long time. Uh, the Kilimanjaro is probably our most famous jacket. Uh, it's one of our best sellers as well. Oh yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great piece and, and really what you get is you get pretty much everything you'd ever need in a jacket. This particular jacket is a true three-quarter length jacket, so it's very, very long. Okay. The features are abound in it. You also have a lot of little details. You'll notice we've got the nice little neoprene cuff here. Okay. Moving up to the collar, you'll see we've got a nice neoprene collar here. It's also fleece-lined and very comfortable. Oh yeah, and then you move back down to the arms here. We have stretch panels in key places, but they're still waterproof, which is, is really cool. A lot of reflective piping on the front and the rear of the jacket, but let's get into the kind of the meat of the jacket. Two huge pockets, they're zippered, close. You have two large chest vents. Okay. You have two large pit vents. Arm tension straps, CE rated armor in the shoulders and in the elbows. Okay. If you turn around to the back of the jacket, sure. we continue with the reflective piping through the back, also more stretch panels in the back of the arms and the shoulders. Again, large back vent for uh, air exit, nice tall collar. And I think probably one of the, the, the nicest features of the jacket, what really makes this jacket popular, is uh, you know always, like all first gear jackets, we have our first gear uh, phone number in it for customer service, but sure. we're gonna go ahead and peel this off. This okay. is really the neat part of this jacket. The Kilimanjaro features a destination layer. The destination layer, you know, once you get to your location or where you're traveling, you can simply leave the large outer shell at home or in the hotel or your campground, and now you can walk around town or move around in this jacket. So, so it's completely styled, and this, this piece also is the thermal layer. This is your, your temperature control layer. Sure. I want to rewind one second, too. Before I peeled the jacket off, you know, we started to talk about waterproofing and elements. Um, the shell on that jacket, is, so I have one thermal layer, but this is not the waterproofing. The, the waterproofing is in the jacket, correct? The waterproofing is in the outer shell. It's okay. called Hypertex. Okay. This material is actually Taflon, so it's also uh, taffeta. It's also uh, waterproof. It's not seam sealed, but you can definitely uh, you know handle some water in it if you're walking through town. So there's a nice feature. It's not a drop liner with this jacket. You know, when if it does start to rain, you get a quick cloud burst. The outer shell is going to be uh, waterproof, so you're not going to be having the shell soak up a ton of water. It's just going to shed right off. Um, you still have hand pockets. Yeah, it's just it's just a nice piece. So it's a really it's an all season destination jacket that's going to cover you in that myriad of temperature ranges as well as um, climates. And the nice part too is you know you and I just did a Colorado ride and I was wearing one of your other jackets, but the nice part, when you get into the functionality of a jacket like this, you know, you're gonna be riding through the mountains. It's gonna be 75, you're gonna start your ascent, and all of a sudden you're hitting rain and the temperature drops awful oh, quickly. Yeah. It's nice to be able to just zip, zip, pull it back together, and very quickly on the fly, now your jacket is completely waterproof and you've cut off all the ventilation. Correct, and if you remember, we were sitting around the campfire that night, everybody had their mid layers on. Sure. All their, their destination pieces, they left the shells on the bikes. Sure. So this jacket's gonna come in actually six colorways. You're gonna have a sand, you're gonna have a silver, a charcoal, a red, which is kind of a burgundy silver. You're gonna have the high vis, which is the most popular colorway that I had on. And you also have a black. And what's nice about this jacket is that when you flip flop over to the women's version, which is all of the same features and functionality, you also have six color options there as well. Um, the Kilimanjaro was uh, more of a box cut, not the tapered sport European style cut, so it's a little bit more forgiving in the mid midsection and the shoulders. It's kind of for a more American body style, and it's available now. We had some uh, feature upgrades for 2010, but we do have the new one. It's shipping currently. If you have any questions about it, shoot us a line at cs at revzilla.com via email or 877-792-9455, and we're happy to help you contrast or compare and contrast any products within the first gear line and, and find the right jacket that's going to cover your riding style. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for watching Revzilla TV today. We'll see you next time. Thank you.